All right, guys, today we're going to make our pantyhose sculpture. So this is going to be an abstract sculpture. Uh, for this, you're gonna need a block of wood, and you'll need to ask me to get that. You're gonna need a pair of pantyhose, your wire hanger. You're gonna need to talk to me about using the hot glue gun, and you will need to come and see me to drill some holes in your wood. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to take your block of wood and you need to decide where you want the base of your sculpture to be. So for this, you're going to mark two dots with a Sharpie like I've done right here. These can be anywhere you need on this. They can be uh, across from each other, diagonal. The only thing that is required is that they need to be at least three inches apart to make sure that your base is a solid foundation. Uh, the closer you put them together, so closer to the three inch mark, which would be half of the six inch piece of wood, the thinner your sculpture is gonna be. The further apart they are, closer to the six inch width that this piece of wood is, the wider your sculpture is gonna be. So once you've made that, you're going to drill holes. So I will be doing this for you. You need to come and talk to me. All right, so once you have drilled the holes, you need to take apart your hanger. All you have to do is untwist the top and it will come apart. Now, the wire should bend fairly easy. You can choose to straighten it out or you can choose to leave it bent however you would like, but each of the holes of the hanger is going to go into, each of the ends is gonna go into one of the holes, just like this. Now from here, in order to make your sculpture, you are going to bend and twist the wire any way that you want. What this will do is this is going to create the outline of your sculpture. So however you twist it, you will end up creating your sculpture. So think about how you want your sculpture to be. Do you want it to be leaning over? Do you want it to be standing tall? Do you want portions of your sculpture to form corners? Remember, you're also going to be stretching it over the base of the wood, so the pantyhose will create an interesting form. As it gets down to the bottom, it will get wider. All right, once you have the design that you would like, you're going to make sure that you have got the end stuck in the wood really well, that you have the form that you want, just like I've done here, and then you're going to Come get the hot glue gun from me. And you are just going to use your hot glue gun in order to keep your wire hanger in the wood. Just put a little dab of hot glue around the ends. What this will do is it'll cement the wire hanger into the wood. And then you need to let that dry. While that is drying, you're going to get your pantyhose. Now, you are not gonna be using the entire pantyhose. Um, this will actually be good for another student to use as well because you're only going to use one side. So open that up. What you are going to need to do is you're going to find the foothold of the pantyhose, which is right here. Okay? So once you have found the foothold, you're going to cut with a pair of scissors about a foot. Now if you're worried that you're not going to have enough cut up towards the middle of the pantyhose. You will cut off the excess later, so you don't need to worry about it being too long. So that's what I'm gonna do, make sure that there's enough. Just cut off one of the legs. And don't throw the rest of it away if you still have a pantyhose that has a second foothold. If you're the second person to use this pair, the rest of it you can throw away. All right. So my hot glue is dried. I now have the form of my figure. So notice it's very abstract, meaning it's not representing anything, all right? What you are gonna do, at this point you need to make sure that the shape that you have with your pantyhose is exactly what you want, because once you get to this next step and you slide the pantyhose over top of the wire, you're not going to be able to change your shape again. So you really need to make sure that you have the shape that you want. At this point, because the hot glue 
has dried and cemented it into place. It's a little bit easier to bend and move. If you want portions of your, paint, your sculpture to be thinner, then think about making them closer. All right, so now I have the form that I want. You should look at it from all angles. Remember, this is going to be a form, a three-dimensional sculpture. You want it to be aesthetically pleasing from all sides. Once you have determined that it's how you want, you're going to take your pantyhose and very carefully, because you don't want to cause any runs in this, you're going to slide the pantyhose over your sculpture, over the wire. You want to make sure that the foot hole, so the end of the pantyhose, is nice and snug. And then you're very carefully going to work it down the sculpture. Remember, be careful with this. If you go too fast, you're going to end up ripping it. And you will have to start this process over again. So make sure it's careful, but you do want it to be nice and snug. Don't worry if you have a lot of excess at the end. We will eventually cut that out. So if you look, what is happening now is this pantyhose is stretching over the sculpture and creating a very unique form. When you get down to the bottom, you're going to, again, very carefully, and remembering that this is going to have corners, so this is where it's going to get your best chance of getting those runs. You're going to carefully stretch it over top the base of the wood, making sure that everything is nice and snug. You're going to have some extras coming off the bottom. Okay? Do not cut this off yet. You need that to stay for right now. So be very careful, especially as you're getting around the edges of that wood. Pull it out before you pull it down. That's going to keep you from getting big holes in the pantyhose. I've got a small one right here, but it should be okay. And you want this really snug, really tight, especially up at the top here. So work it down. Now we could create a wider sculpture by using two hangers in this. If you were to have two hangers, then you could get a little bit more width to your sculpture. Okay, so I think we're about ready to move on to the next step. So at this point, you should now have a decent sculpture, very abstract in shape. You can kind of see the form that you've created. The next step is to paint your pantyhose with glue. So you're going to take your glue, you're going to take your glue and you're going to just using just plain white Elmer's glue and I have a container for you. You're going to paint carefully a thin layer over the pantyhose. What this is going to do is it's going to create, make that pantyhose stay. It's going to make it thick and it's going to give us a base that we can paint on. Do not glob this glue on. You don't want to take a huge scoop of it at a time and just put globs of it on. You want to make a thin coat. We're just sealing the holes in the pantyhose this way. You're going to paint this entire thing with your glue. All the way down to the base, you're going to paint over top of the edges, but you will not paint the bottom. Okay? Do not paint the bottom. So I'm going to do this, and I'm going to pause the video, and I'll come back when it's all done.